All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another FFT AI battle. So on top, we have uh, a new team from Silentcaster that he just submitted to me this uh, today, I should say. Um, the team's name is Bingo Bongo. So it was reminding me of uh, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time's Bongo Bongo, but alas. So we have his team on top, and then once again, we have a Castius team with his uh, mimicking uh, drought user team on bottom so i'll introduce the unit so we got generic heals the ninja distraction the lancer status bot the priest and final the geomancer and now for castia we have copycat the mime sammy the samurai mike the monk and gg the geomancer so i looked the compads very briefly this geomancer right here gg she has bad compatibility with these two priests so in other words uh, the Geomancer, the female Geomancer, has back your pat with the other two ladies. Um, as for uh, wow, Silent Caster's team, the names kind of give away what kind of their functionality is. Generic heals, obviously, being a fast unit. 13 speed, especially. Very quick. He's immune to death sentence. All that good stuff. So he's a very quick res bot. Um, distraction, obviously, being like the Hamido bait. Uh, status by your generic healer. You know, Yin Yang Magic 2 helps out a lot. Um, it's kind of nice that he's got the status immunity for like uh, sleep and death sentence. Um, and then obviously this uh, Geomancer is just your, just your generic attacker. She does have haste and slow, but I'm not sure who to give this to. We've seen it in the past with uh, Castius team. If he doesn't, um, if he doesn't hit, how do I say it? If he doesn't, uh, if, he, if his mime is not able to get in range, um, he's not going to be able to take advantage of like the double drawouts and kill everything. That's pretty much what it, uh, the hin, what it primarily hinges off of. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to wait for him to creep forward. Now, because of the way the map is split up right now, or because of how the terrain is uh, distributed, uh, songs and dances are going to go off. So again, the longer matches go on, uh, the more dragged out they are. Um, the more advantageous it is for the team with the uh, dances and songs. Now the initial hastes might make a difference though. We got uh, only one out of four. That's too bad. She was targeting two, but yeah, it's a little unfortunate miss. Now do note that the ninja really doesn't need. Let's see. All right, looks like PA was just lost on the relevant units. That ninja didn't really lose a whole lot. Yeah, and again, um. 13 speed times 10 weapon power, 130 base damage is pretty good. Those are pump, uh, that ninja was pumping out some pretty good numbers right there. There might be a heal or something to offset it. Uh, no, MP switch 8 at 50 50. Uh, but he did hit, get, did hit, wow, well, he got hit with the don't act Kamatachi. Looks like in a, no, that's another time magic spell. But yeah, that was a nice mimic heal right there. Uh, or I should say a nice mimic, uh, elemental. Being able to hit him twice, take out all of his MP. And then inflict some damage and get don't act on him. Very nice. So yeah, so that Geomancer has invested two turns. Um, yeah, he's down the critical, so they're going to prioritize healing over the status. Which don't act will wear off, but chances are she's going to die. We'll see. Alright, so it hits the Mime, which is uh, going to allow her droughts to do more damage. Any... Ooh, Petrify. Interesting. Um... I mean, the monk's right there on uh, Cassius' team that use like a simple stigma magic, assuming he'll be in range next turn. He should be able to use it, no problem. Um, stigma magic gets rid of the Donak, which is nice. So, so kind of, he's back a little. Ooh, double draw. Here we go. 120 plus what? What do we got? 182. So that's 308 damage. Instant death. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, so this is kind of our metagame team. Um, pretty good damage overall. This is where problems can arise with uh, this mime, as I've chatted about in the past. The mime is, oh wow, the raise two miss. That is so unfortunate. But even so, I believe that mime is dead. If the ninja or the lancer get a turn, the lancer has two hands, he should be dead. She should be, because she's not going to have any evasion from the side. Um, I mean, she does have protect, but I don't know if that's going to be enough for the mime. She still might get put down like a dog. Oh, silence and death sentence, okay. Um, ooh, nice Petrify. And a three-man Petrify, or well, three-man carve model, I should say. Fortunately, no Petrifies. Ooh, wow! Triple draw! Oh, 
That's really bad. Uh oh. Yeah, 322 damage and a kill shot. Nice, nice. What a clutch way to get it. That is so unfortunate that that uh, raise missed. Oof. So, cast. Well, silent caster is gonna have a little bit of work cut out for him right there. But uh, yeah, that again, 300 damage. Again, it requires two units to pump out damage like that, and it's a uh, conditional basically. Um, let's go to the pub. Oh, that, that raise. I, I don't know what the odds were exactly, but it looked like it was another 80%. I wasn't paying close attention to the numbers in particular, but sometimes they just flash uh, on and off the screen so quickly, so you can't really tell all the time. God damn, the levels fast. <laughs> um, now, the, another, good another good amount of damage, right? About a third of our life bar. A little less than that. Actually, a little more. And yeah, look at the ninja's dead. Oh, and uh, unfortunately, he did not get the MP switch. But again, that's the risk of ninjas, you know, 80%. So yeah, four and five sh chance of it triggering and it missed the raise too. Very unfortunate. Um, I don't know if that, if there is one don't act, but yeah, yeah. I didn't think that priest was going to get hit. She was a little bit too far to the mimes left to hit. Ooh, don't moves. I mean, don't move isn't too detrimental. Um, uh, if the samurai gets a turn in, which she does not, uh, she might be able to get like, she's probably gonna use Kiyomori or maybe even a Murasame. Probably a Kiyomori just to prioritize the, and then everybody might get hit with Petrovi. Oh no, Heaven's Call, nice. All right, Auto Potion just heals up all that damage away, but then Ninja might be dead. No, MP Switch uh, ate the hit. That, that would've been a lethal shot, I believe. Yeah, he would've died if that didn't trigger. Uh, fortunately, no like, oh wait, wait, maybe the GM answered they can do a one-two combo. Let's see if I'm right. Uh, that's a little, nah, that's too bad. They could have killed that ninja very easily. With him having 13 speed, sure, he's incredibly deadly when it comes to not just his momentum, but also augmenting the damage of his, uh, uh, dagger shots. But his, uh, countdown timer would go, uh, would drop considerably. Yeah, that was a little bit foolish, honestly. That Geomancer was better off just going for a melee shot on that ninja. Because even if it missed somehow, the nin the, the mine would have finished him off. The one-two combo from both of them would finish. Um, yeah, the way this is playing out right now, uh, this looks like it's going to be going to uh, Silent Caster this time. Uh, yeah, Silent Caster is... Uh, or Cassie is a little bit on the back foot right now. Fortunately, that one Paralyze did trigger. Uh, this one missed right here, but it really depends on whether this Geomancer on uh, Silent Caster's end is able to get a turn. She does, and she might go for a double shot right here, right? Oh, she only hits one. Okay, she hits the caster, but yeah, I suppose the ninja could do the dork right there. Yeah, so it's still 2v4, and remember, the only person who's revival remaining is this monk. The monk goes down. It will be a permanent 1v4. Mm. All right, so nice re-raise. Pretty good. I forgot that it triggered earlier, and I don't know if the ninja can hit her. No, he can't because she's hiding behind that barrel, and I think more, more importantly, she's too far away. But again, this is kind of the opposite of what occurred last round. Again, those double droughts are not they're not in range to do it. They're kind of healing up constantly. Speed save will give her more give the monk more turns, but he's gotta invest time in actually doing actions. Like he can't be singing and all that stuff. Death sentence triggers on the her. I don't know if she'll live or die. Uh she probably well Let's see. Yeah, another revival, and it misses this time. Twelve percent. We've been seeing a lot of like ten, twenty, even thirty percent chances consecutively missing. It's crazy. I think this is thirty-seven percent. And it, wow, it triggers. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, but uh, the samurai, you know, the the main tank got down because remember the samurai has a uh, defense up, so she gets protect. Yeah. So th they're just getting layered with too much damage all at once, and they're just kind of playing. They're on the defense too often. Like you can see, constant revival, constant revival, and they just immediately get put down. They just get shut down altogether. Ooh, Heaven's Cloud. Nice, double draw out, double draw out, awesome. Ah, uh, wow, MP Switch sa sa saves his life. What's gonna happen here? Kamatachi does finish him, so they're gonna be one for one, it looks like, on the trades. Um, yeah. Oh wait, Mimic, okay. So no auto potion, a little unfortunate. Yeah, see, she was taken down again. Literally, it's just been this monk trying to play the hero. Uh, I think he's just delaying everything, though. Eventually, the Kamatachi's... Ooh, a nice Mimic Punch. Um, one more turn left for the Mime. Uh, no Donax, but... 
it's going to be pretty much uh, up to this mime. Yeah, death sentence takes its uh, course. We're just kind of waiting patiently for the mime. Final turn. Well, she can take one more action, the mime, with like a mimic punch or something. Let's see if I'm right. Earth Slash. All right, nice, nice. But it still didn't finish her off, and she just healed up all that HP via auto potion. So yeah, this is going to a tiebreaker. Holy shit. I'm looking at my timer, including the time I've been chit-chatting. We're only ten and a half minutes in. Goddamn. Okay. So yeah, this was a, a lot more clean compared to the first round. And as such, we're going to go to a tiebreaker. Let's go right, get right to it. So I think we're going to go... I mean, any medium map will really do the trick. Let's go to Bed Desert. I believe Bed Desert's the one with Balk, where you encounter him the first time. And I think it's a translation error, but like the blaze gun actually shoots out ice bullets and the glacier gun shoots out fire bullets. I think it was a translation error when they translated from Japanese to English. Because in War of the Lions, they have a correct blaze, hence fire, gl glacier, hence, you know, ice. But it's fine. Um... These guys are going to be a little bit more clustered, so it, I think it ultimately depends on which Geomancer is going to be able to get their turn in and, like, wreck havoc with the elementals first. Because, um, be, well, it's just like whatever group gets pocketed first to whatever Geomancer is able to capitalize on that. I do believe that, um, yeah, so here's a punch, empty switch is gone. Uh, assuming the mime gets, assuming she gets a turn. Wait. A Poka Poka is going to help out against that uh, ninja, or lower his damage rather. Yeah, the Jam Answer is going to hurt her damage output too. Now here's the million dollar question. Um, is this going to hit anyone with the mime? Oh, it does. Oh, no sleep procs, fortunately. And it's a good thing that Jam Answer did not walk into the range of that spell. I thought the Jam Answer and Cassia's end walked into it. No done acts. Okay. So, mime's probably dead here, right? Uh, no, and no status procs either. Very fortunate. Uh, Heaven's Club. Drought should finish him off, off here. Yep. Oh no, MP Switch. He got his MP Switch move MP up again. Oof. In a one shot. Oh, that's not good whatsoever. And that's on the, the caster. You know, the one with uh, white magic. So, it's going to be up to a baby heal or a baby revival from uh, the monk. And uh, the magic song really doesn't matter uh, if this, unless the samurai does something about it. Uh, the samurai has to use draw, basically. Um, in fact, she's going to, because she doesn't have any revival. Um, but it doesn't matter. The mime's going to go down, so there's going to be just the samurai trying to tank all this. Um, yeah, Heaven's Cloud, not bad. Uh, I mean, the slow proc isn't going to do too much, because, like, a simple revive. Now, the ninja, like I said, with this timer being so low, he's probably going to die, unless... Uh, yeah, unless the priest is able to do something. Yeah, now it's 2v4. And remember that ninja lost about 70... Well, the monk lost about 75% of his lifetime for that uh, two-handed shot. No Hamido, 50-50. Um, but it really doesn't matter. He's going to lose his evasion. She's got... Don't act. This is looking kind of perilous right now for Castia. So it looks like from the just the, the glimpse of it... Yeah, two don't acts. Oh, no, no. The don't act was refreshed on her. And she got put to sleep. So... The way this is going right now, yeah, this is going to be a 3v1, uh, permanent 3v1, but it doesn't matter. Um, so just from the glimpses of it, yeah, it definitely seems like this is a uh, nice comeback from a silent caster. Again, that was the conditional for Castia getting the mime and the samurai to live to use mimic droughts, and unfortunately they weren't able to do it these last two rounds. But uh, nevertheless, congrats, uh, silent caster, you take this two out of three, and uh, Castia, even though you didn't win this, you still were able to bring it to a tiebreaker, or force a tiebreaker, rather. So yeah, I'll see you guys for the next uh, video. Take care until then.